While research using stem cells to treat disease and injuries in people is ongoing, the science is already helping our four-legged friends live longer, more enjoyable lives. Yeah, from dogs with debilitating arthritis to cats facing deadly kidney failure, medical reporter Lori Lyle explains it's the animal's own stem cells that are reversing the damage. Hey, sweetheart. She was moving around really slow. You could tell she was in pain. Unable even to get up and down without help, seven-year-old Allie was facing a life crippled with arthritis until Mom Madeline, on a desperate search to find Allie relief, when I came in here, I was at the end. Found veterinarian Thomas Day in a treatment he calls the biggest advancement yet for pets. The fact that new tissue is being created in a very fairly simple process. I'd call it a huge advancement. New cartilage tissue for pets with damaged and diseased joints using stem cells taken from the pet's own fat. Fat has a very high concentration of stem cells which they're primitive so when they go to the tissue in need there are various chemical signals that make those primitive stem cells into cartilage cells. And not just cartilage cells, VetStem, the company that processes the stem cells in California, is now expanding treatments beyond arthritic joints to diseased organs. We weren't quite sure how long she had, but we were seeing the symptoms of failure. Kidney failure, one of the most common diseases in older cats. Hope is 15, was losing dramatic weight, lethargic. While veterinarians can slow the progression, it's fatal. But she's being great right now. But Dr. Gary Edlin, another Louisville vet treating at joints with stem cells, thought his patient Hope would be a perfect candidate for vet stem's next medical hurdle. Where we're trying to rebuild an organ that is slowly failing is what we did in Hope. Dr. Day performed the treatment. It takes about three days from removing the fat pad, getting it to vet stem and back. With arthritis, the cells are injected directly into the joints, but for organs, they're delivered through IV. With every pump of her heart, 20% of the blood got to her kidney, and so that 20% has, has done something remarkable. Within the first month, she gained uh, about one pound. And then another pound, her kidney function continues to improve. Now she is just really back to, back to her old self again. And I think it's amazing. I, I think it's amazing that it has helped her. And even more amazing, this little kitty named Hope is living up to her name. Not just to us, but to, to other cats and perhaps in the future other people. They've actually injected uh, a man with kidney failure in Europe and his kidney function has improved. Diabetics, liver disease, skin disease. Hope that's limitless. Just whip that thing right back there. We couldn't do that before. And already for our pets, miraculous. Allie is back to her old self again and playing and running and bouncing everybody around. Saying, I tell everybody, I got a miracle worker. That's what I say by Dr. J. He is. He really is. Lori Lyle, Wave 3 News. Hope is the first cat with kidney disease treated in the private practice. And Dr. Day says he's treated 15 dogs with joint problems, all with success. The cost, though, pretty staggering. It's about $2,000. And as we've reported, research is underway at UofL using the same concept for treatment and people.